Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are liking Spark interview questions series. Please subscribe to our channel and share the videos with your friends. Please also let us know what are the other questions uh, you are facing in your interviews so that we can also make videos on that and share it with other, uh, with other viewers. So, as, uh, as part of today's uh, interview question series, uh, we are going to discuss what is Spark Execution Model. This is a very uh, common Spark interview question. Uh, normally, uh, if you answer basic questions like what is RDD, what is data frame, and all that, uh, the interviewer will start to get into depth of uh, your knowledge it will try to gauge uh, how much you know how much you know conceptually about spark that is when he will start uh, questions like what is your understanding of uh, 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 spark execution model how a job is submitted to spark uh, he will ask questions like uh, uh, executor uh, what exactly is executor what exactly is executor code how you can enhance the performance so those questions we will discuss uh, in our next few videos. As part of uh, this video, we are going to discuss what is Spark Execution Model. Cool. So in Spark, we have uh, uh, multiple machines. Uh, the machine on uh, there is one machine uh, which is called driver uh, on which the driver runs. Driver is kind of the main program. So if you are familiar with Java or if you are familiar with any of uh, basic uh, C++ kind of uh, programming language then uh, you might have noticed that we have a main program. So driver machine or driver process is the place where Spark's main program runs. So where you initiate a Spark, a Spark uh, related uh, variable named spark context spark conf and you mention your logic so it is the main program of your whole spark job so in driver you initiate spark context spark context creates is a, a spark context you can uh, think of as a bridge between cluster manager and driver so uh, as discussed in my previous video cluster manager is a uh, uh, is a resource manager which helps Spark uh, negotiate resources uh, and schedule jobs on the cluster. So there are uh, there are three cluster managers generally used with Spark. Uh, one is a standalone cluster manager, other is Mesos, and third one is Yarn. Yarn is more commonly used uh, in enterprise because uh, normally uh, companies who use Spark they already have Hadoop clusters. So and Hadoop it uses Yarn for uh, you know resource management. So they instead of creating a separate infra for Spark, uh, they end up using Yarn for uh, as a cluster manager for uh, Spark. Uh, but uh, you can look into Mesos also and standalone. Everybody has its own benefits and its own way of uh, submitting the jobs. Uh, uh, but everybody will do your work like you can use anyone I, I'll, I'll take I actually I'll make a video uh, for uh, uh, understanding that when to use which cluster manager that will be another interesting uh, interview question uh, let's move on with this question so uh, spark context is a bridge between driver and cluster manager it helps driver communicate with the cluster manager and negotiate resources from cluster manager and then submit job uh, to uh, cluster. So what driver does, uh, once it has the resources, it will, uh, based on the logic that you have written in driver class, it will make a logical plan and then it will create a DAG and it will create a execution plan out of it. Uh, as part of that, it will divide the whole logic, the whole set of commands that you have written in driver program into stages. Stages will be further divided into tasks. So those tasks are executed on workers. So uh, 
you know cluster manager will take uh, decision that which job to schedule on which task to be schedule on which uh, worker based on what is the data uh, you know that machine has so uh, uh, a worker is a physical machine and uh, there can be multiple executors running on the same worker here i have shown only one executor on one worker machine so uh, every executor will have multiple cores uh, at its disposal you you know you can define it as part of your uh, 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 you know uh, job submission and you can s define it as part of your spark installation also uh, executor can have multiple cores at its disposal so uh, and based on number of cores at its disposal it can start uh, you know number of tasks finally if it has four cores uh, if there are four cores on that executor machine it can start four tasks in parallel so uh, each core will be called executor core so uh, so so the your your main logic let me repeat and simplify the whole process uh, your main logic is on driver uh, that's where the whole planning of the job and whole DAG preparation and whole execution plan is built uh, your whole job is divided into stages and uh, 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 and those stages are divided into task then uh, uh, you know spark context helps driver communicate and negotiate resources with cluster manager once cluster manager gives uh, resources to uh, spark job allocate resources for spark job executors are started on workers respective machines so then executors register themselves with driver that uh, okay we will uh, we will execute all the tasks that will be given by these drivers then driver sends those tasks to executors whichever has registered to driver and those tasks are executed on driver and then result is given back to driver so this is how the whole uh, flow of things happens generally in a spark job i hope it was clear if you have any questions please post it in comment section i'll be very happy to answer those uh, please subscribe to our channel please share the videos with your friends uh, let us know how we can improve our videos thank you for